Hey guys, welcome to EC Electronics. So in today's video, we are going to see the selection process of Texas Instruments. It is one of the very famous core companies of electronics. A lot of people uh, of this channel are from electronics background because the channel itself is named as EC Electronics. Now, a lot of people was asking me also for the selection process of various core companies and Texas Instruments was a very predominant one or a predominant name in those uh, comments or, you know, messages. Now, moving on to the selection process. Before that, I want to tell you about Texas Instruments in a very few words. So, Texas Instruments is uh, or TI, we can say TI. Okay, so TI is an American based company that mainly uh, focus on uh, the manufacturing of semiconductors and integrated circuits. So, their main area of interest is manufacturing of these type of semiconductor chips or processors or controllers. So, if you have walked into an electronics laboratory in any uh, time of your life, you may have seen different chips or, you know, processors or controllers of Texas Instruments or TI logo, okay. So, they are manufactured by TI or Texas Instruments. So, their main area of interest is analog and embedded chips and also they help in creating of various electronic components that is their main area of interest now their headquarters is in usa dallas texas so there is a hidden on-site opportunity also if you join texas instruments in any time of your life okay so there is an on-site opportunity now let us see about the selection process before that there is some tips for your resume which is shared by the team of texas instruments okay so they are saying that keep your resume easy to read don't make your resume complicated make it easy to read only put the relevant information focus on what is relevant you may have studied like thousand subjects and you may have done like thousand other things don't put all those information in your resume Based on whatever role you are uh, applying for, try to keep it relevant, okay? And also, it should be organized and updated. It should be every time updated. Based on the uh, your new, new skills you are getting or achieving, try to update your resume. That is very important and keep it organized. There should be a specific template or a properly organized template should be there. And very important thing, which is concentrate on keywords. So, whenever a recruiter or an HR is reading your resume, you don't have the time to read out all those sentences so that person will be looking for keywords based on the role that you are applying for okay so if you are applying for example if you are applying for a vlsi uh, engineer or a vlsi design engineer role he will be looking for something related to vlsi okay so these type of things is very important so please use these tips while creating or while updating your resume now talking about the eligibility criteria Year of pass out, they are mainly focusing on 2020, 21, 22 and also 23. You know that there are fresher openings and internship opportunities available. So, all the 23 and even 24 batch can try for internship. Okay. They mainly focus on engineering degrees, electrical, electronic instrumentation because this is an electronics based company. So, mainly they will be hiring people from electronics background and also there is a... Uh, huge scope for computer science and IT related people or branches. Salary they are offering is 32.16. This is a rough figure. Anyway, around uh, 30 uh, point, uh, you know, 30 ish lakh per plus annum you can get because it is a very highly paying company because it is a product based company and they are very core company of electronics and the payment will be very good. Okay. So, this is a rough figure of salary. Based on whatever role you are applying for, it can vary. So, it is not a fixed one, okay. One more thing I want to uh, share is, they generally hire from Tier 1 and Tier 2 colleges uh, in India. But, doesn't mean that if you are from other college, you don't have score for Texas Instruments. Based on your skill set or based on your knowledge and how good you are in technical, um, you know, technical practice, you can get placed, okay. So, it doesn't matter. Now, let us move on to the selection process which is the main part of this video so they uh, have mainly two rounds uh, i mean as two categories of uh, selection process two sections okay two sections there is aptitude round doesn't uh, it doesn't mean that there is only aptitude there will be also technical and coding rounds 
and all together we can say it as an aptitude something like an aptitude or a test round okay yeah then there will be interviews so there is two categories or two uh, sections of selection which is test and interviews now talking about the aptitude it is not only having aptitude as i said it is having aptitude related questions or area and also there will be technical questions so this technical rounds it can be sometimes uh, coding can be vhdl coding or it can be uh, very low coding or it can be matlab coding and or lab view coding or it can be embedded c coding or c c++ coding so these are some areas which generally electronics based companies they uh, you know look in their uh, candidates so these type of uh, coding rounds can be there or it can be a technical question uh, to you know solve the circuit or something of a uh, something related to electronics okay going on to the uh, the the time limit it is again a rough idea it is not an accurate one if you are only taking one technical question plus the aptitude uh, aptitude question 90 minutes will be the duration if you attempt two technical questions it can be 135 minutes marking is plus one mark uh, will be given for the this is the uh, marking for the aptitude round because aptitude will be generally mcq based and then there will be technical questions okay for the aptitude you will get uh, uh, one mark for correct answer and minus 0.25 mark will be deducted for incorrect answer. so always be ready with uh, some questions to ask the interviewer that is uh, some questions can be related to the growth of uh, your role in the company uh, what are what are the you know some um, if you have some questions about this career your work culture anything can be can be about the salary or your uh, location in which you will be getting posted so try to ask some uh, relevant question uh, related to the role and also make a note of some questions you shouldn't be asking because sometimes the interviewer may get offended by some questions so there are uh, some questions uh, like that also so please keep in mind some questions to ask the interviewer and that should be relevant and it should be uh, good questions to ask okay now let us discuss about some technical areas to study first thing is the current trends in electronics so this is the current trend in all the electronics based companies so please uh, please be aware about these technologies that is embedded systems artificial intelligence arm machine learning real time operating systems software and languages like matlab silinx vhdl verilog labview also embedded c8051 assembly programming keel multisim circuit simulation pcb design softwares spy circuit simulation or simulator etc and talking about the subjects you have to study this is a uh, vlsi based company or it is a chip manufacturing company or it is a semiconductor based company so try to study those related areas like analog electronics digital electronics opams also semiconductor theory uh, and edc electronic devices and circuits xenodiodes transistors processors controllers these are their main area also digital signal processing and digital signal processors vlsi and vhdl okay so these are some subjects i have included these are some of the very core subjects of electronics that is related with the uh, semiconductor industry so try to study those and also some basics of semiconductors and semiconductor theory okay so please prepare accordingly we have seen all the very vital information that you need to know about texas instrument selection process so this is a very much requested video so if the video was useful please try to support the channel subscribe to it we'll be having job updates also i have started a very new excel class uh, on our channel because excel is a very very useful uh, tool or uh, technology or you can say a software because uh, for whatever role you are going to uh, do in a company you may need to use excel okay because excel is a very very life saving tool or a skill so please have a note of that and also we'll be doing all the other uh, core company selection uh, process videos very soon if you want some specific companies selection process to be seen in the channel please mention that in the comment section and also please give your suggestions for the improvement of the videos Thanks for watching. Keep on watching. Bye-bye.